Have you always wanted to visit Baltimore, but don't have any idea what to do when you get there? With its amazing views, great seafood, sporting events, rich culture, and vibrant art scene, you'll have plenty of choices. In this video, Viewcation presents the best things to do in Baltimore, Maryland. Explore the Inner Harbor. This seaside oasis located in the heart of Baltimore is home to some of the city's most amazing attractions like the Maryland Science Center, National Aquarium, and the American Visionary Arts Museum. Since the 1700s, the Inner Harbor has been one of the most important seaports in the country, with a key location alongside the Chesapeake Bay. You can spend the day taking walks around the area, enjoying a street performance, or exploring the shops and restaurants. Although some residents and travelers may consider the Inner Harbor as somewhat of a tourist trap, most agree the picturesque stroll and convenient location make it a remarkable experience for first-time visitors. You can walk, bike, and cruise the seven-mile promenade from end to end, or hop on a water taxi and explore from offshore. Learn all about African American heritage and culture. When visiting the Reginald F. Lewis Museum of Maryland African American History and Culture, you can sift through hundreds of years of art and culture and better appreciate the outstanding contributions of Maryland's African American community. You can experience Frederick Douglass's life as a Baltimore caulker, witness the recreation of the first African American shipyard in North America, and meet inspiring legends at the Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Park. There's so much more to explore at the National Great Blacks in Wax Museum, where you'll be blown away by the 150 life-sized wax figures portraying important moments and contributions in African American history. A life-size slave ship replica will highlight the many struggles that enslaved people experienced. Attend Artscape, America's largest free arts festival. If you love art and happen to be in Baltimore in July, you should make sure to attend Artscape. Artscape is the country's largest arts festival. This unique event, which happens to trace its origins in Baltimore, attracts thousands of attendees every year. The first event was held in 1982, and over the years, Artscape has had several amazing acts like Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, and Modest Yahoo grace its stages. During this quirky annual event, you can browse or buy local artworks, enjoy music from headlining artists across multiple stages, and take a selfie with one of the decked-out art cars that line North Charles Street. One of the most amazing things is that the events are free and open to the public. Visit the National Aquarium the National Aquarium is one of the most popular attractions in Baltimore. This incredible building houses more than 20,000 animals. At the aquarium, you get the opportunity to get up close and personal with animals from all over the world, including crocodiles, sharks, jellyfish, and even two-toed sloths. Besides the stunning habitats, you can also enjoy the immersive 4D theater, which features some incredible videos about marine life. And you can engage with the aquarium's smaller animals like hyacinth macaws or tiger salamanders. If you haven't had the opportunity to see a stingray in person, you can spot some at the aquarium's Living Seashore exhibit. You can also view or even touch more than 150 sea creatures from the mid-Atlantic. Ever wondered what a pulsing moon jelly feels like? Visit this exhibit to find out. The National Aquarium has another breathtaking exhibit called the Black Reef Exhibit. It gives you the experience of diving to the bottom of an Indo-Pacific reef. Follow the walkways downwards to get a multi-floor view of black tip reef sharks, clown triggerfish, and reticulated whiptail rays. The aquarium is a major attraction, so brace yourself for thick crowds. For a little more breathing room, visitors are advised to stop by on weekdays or before 11 a.m. and after 3 p.m. on weekends and holidays. It's conveniently located on the Inner Harbor and is easily accessible with the free Charm City Circulator. Adult admission costs $39.45, admission for children is $24.95, and entry for seniors is $34.95. Picnic at Fort McHenry, birthplace of the Star-Spangled Banner. While Francis Scott Key was being held captive on board a ship in the Chesapeake Bay, the War of 1812 raged on. The lawyer, poet, and writer saw a flag of 15 stars and stripes soaring high, signaling the American success in repelling the British. The site inspired Francis to write the country's national anthem. Today, the site of the battle is a national monument and historic shrine. Admission to the general park area, fortunately, is free, but there's a small fee for visitors aged 16 and older to enter the historic star-shaped fort. 
You can partake in a unique variety of programs, including the Fort Flag and Fire Ceremony at 2 p.m. in July and August, which invites visitors to participate in guided tours and even participate in the changing ceremony for the 42-foot flag. Afterwards, you can relax and enjoy a picnic on the fort's sprawling waterfront lawns and enjoy the view of Baltimore's skyline. Try the steamed blue crabs. Practically no one comes to Baltimore without trying these delicious crustaceans. The Maryland blue crab is some of the sweetest and most succulent seafood you'll ever sink your teeth into. Whether you pick your own traditional crab feast, try a crab cake, or add some crab meat to a simple dish, there are plenty of options. Maryland crabs are at their most abundant during summer and early fall, and a local steamed crab feast is best enjoyed outside accompanied with all the fixins like Old Bay seasoning, melted butter, corn on the cob, and of course, ice cold beer. Some of the favorite local restaurants for steamed crabs include Captain James Landing, Phillips Seafood, and Bow Brooks. You can enjoy your meal there or take your crabs to go, along with other add-ons like Maryland crab soup, crab cakes, or mussels. And if you're not a fan of crabs, there are still other seafood options. Some of Baltimore's amazing seafood restaurants offer other Chesapeake Bay specialties like rockfish, oysters, and mussels. At Fells Point, visit Bertha's Restaurant and Bar for their delicious mussels. These come in a variety of flavors from garlic butter to Old Bay and Guinness broth and even spicy coconut milk. Another place to enjoy the best cuisine in Charm City is Fadley's Seafood. It was founded in 1886 and is famous for its jumbo lump crab cakes. Located in the famous Lexington Market, it also serves oysters, fried fish, classic Maryland crab soup, and more. Catch the Baltimore birds in action. Marylanders are always ready to support their ball-playing birds in and around Baltimore, so if you're a sports fan, there's no wrong time to visit the city. In the fall and winter, the parking lot of M&T Bank Stadium is filled with tailgate parties for the Ravens football games. The Baltimore Orioles baseball team has games at Camden Yards in the spring and summer. The stadium is located a few blocks from the Inner Harbor, so it's easily accessible. Camden Yards features a well-kept field, abundant restaurants, beer, pretzel, and hot dog stands, and beautiful views overlooking the city from the stands. Oriole Park also boasts of an Orioles Hall of Fame and museum located outside the stadium's front entrance. If your visit falls during the off-season, ask about getting a behind-the-scenes tour. The stadium offers 90-minute stadium tours where fans can learn plenty of interesting tidbits of Baltimore's baseball legacy and historical figures like Babe Ruth. During the regular season, April through September, tours are available from Monday through Saturday from 10 to 1 p.m. and Sundays between noon and 3 p.m. The Walters Art Museum. This free Mount Vernon museum displays art dating back to 5000 BC. Since its opening in 1934, it's expanded into a total of three distinctive buildings, featuring Renaissance paintings, Asian art, Byzantine and Ethiopian art, and an extensive Egyptian collection. The exhibits offer a diverse selection of art styles. If you're traveling with family, you're in luck. The Walters Art Museum also offers a variety of family-focused programs and free drop-in art activities from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Free walk-in tours are available for those who want a more in-depth look at the galleries. While the museum is free to the public, special events and lectures may require an admission fee for non-members. Port Discovery's Children's Museum Here we have another family favorite that's sure to make your vacation unforgettable. It would be difficult to find a more feature-filled play place for little ones and older children alike to let their creative juices flow than the Port Discovery Children's Museum. Featuring myriad interactive indoor activities, this incredible museum, located in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, is the ideal place for families who enjoy participating in inspirational and educational learning and play. Maryland Science Center the 200-plus-year-old Maryland Science Center is one of the oldest scientific institutions in the country, boasting interactive exhibits for children, a planetarium for astronomy lovers, and giant dinosaur replicas for budding paleontologists. The museum offers plenty of activities for its visitors. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite thing to do in Baltimore, Maryland? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.